everyone, Life with Pets here. So today's video is a haul video along with a sneak peek of a new tank project that I've been working on. I had the fish delivered in the mail and so I will be doing an unboxing video on that which I will put up on Friday. Starting with the tank, it is a 55 gallon tank and we were extremely blessed in that we were given this tank for free. So in the comments box below, have a guess what fish you think we are going to be putting in this tank. I will give you a hint in that some of the haul items might give you a clue. Moving on, the first item I got for the tank was this AquaClear 70. It is good for aquariums from 50 to 70 gallons and it cycles 300 gallons per hour. I also got some extra foam sponge inserts to go in the filter and an extra bag of Biomax. So the second filter I got for this tank was the Marineland Penguin 200. This one cycles 200 gallons per hour and is good for tanks up to 50 gallons. This cute little starfish we got from PetSmart and this also will be going in the new tank. We also got some new plants for our planted tank as we wanted to take out some of the established plants in there and put them into the new tank. The next decoration is this little bridge and we got this also from PetSmart and this will be going in our planted tank when we redecorate it. This is a pond pump and we use this for our water changes. If you have large tanks or a lot of tanks, this is definitely a product to look out for. I'm going to do a how-to video on it, but this has made water changes for us very easy. We get several different types of fish food. Unfortunately, I couldn't show them all, otherwise it would have given away what we were getting. But this particular food, the fish on the front has nothing to do with the type of fish that we're getting. The Rapashi fish food is a gel food and so it's, it comes in powder form and then you make it up with boiling water and I will do a video at a later date showing how we do that. The substrate that we will be using in part of this tank is black sand. We always get the National Geographic make because we find that when we have cleaned it and put it into the tank it does not make the tank cloudy at all. The last bowl I got from Dollar Tree and I get asked about these all the time. We use them in our beta tanks as hideaways and the betas just absolutely love them. That's all the haul items for today. Don't forget to leave a comment in the box below letting me know which fish you think we're going to be putting in the tank. Also, don't forget to watch out for the unboxing video on Friday. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you would like to see more videos like this, then please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.